Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. Over the last couple of videos we've looked at working out the electron configuration of elements. Hopefully you're getting the idea that it's relatively straightforward. In this video we're looking at the link between the electron configuration of an element and its place in the periodic table. Now the first key idea you need to understand is that scientists divide the periodic table into different blocks. Each block is named after the subshell containing the highest energy electron for the elements in that block. So first we've got the S block, and in all of these elements the highest energy electron is in an S subshell. For the elements in the P block, the highest energy electron is in a P subshell. In the D block, the highest energy electron in all of the elements is in a D subshell. And lastly we've got the F block. Again, for all of the elements in the F block, the highest energy electron is in an F subshell. Now I'm going to remove the F block because we won't be using that in this video. OK, now by using the blocks in the periodic table, we can easily check that an electron configuration is correct. Let's look at silicon, which has got 14 electrons. The first two electrons go into the 1s subshell. The second two go into the 2s subshell. And the next six go into the 2p subshell. The next two electrons go into the 3s subshell. And finally, we've got two electrons in the 3p subshell. Now, to check that this is correct, all we've got to do is look at the periodic table. I'm going to remove the elements to make this easier. Periods 1, 2 and 3 represent the first, second and third electron shells. So, by looking at the position of silicon, we can work out the electron configuration. This represents the two electrons in the 1s subshell and the two electrons in the 2s subshell. And this represents the electrons in the 2p subshell and the 3s subshell. Now we can see that silicon is the second element in the 3p subshell, and this confirms the electron configuration as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. OK, now you do need to be careful when you use the periodic table like this, and that's because of the d block. The first row of the d block represents the electrons in the d subshell of the third electron shell. Remember that the 4s subshell fills before the 3d subshell. So let's look at an example. We're going to look at nickel, which has got 28 electrons. The electron configuration of nickel is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d8, 4s2. Looking at the periodic table, we can see the subshells filling with the electrons. These represent the electrons in the 1s, 2s and 2p subshells. Next we have the electrons in the 3s and 3p subshells. Then we have the electrons in the 4s subshell, and lastly we have the electrons in the 3d subshell. OK, in the next video we look at how to write the shorthand electron configuration of elements.